And joining us now in the studio is that architect whom you just saw in that last report, Marcella Hunch. Thank you very much, Marcella, for being with us today. Thanks. All right, now your Pacific g garbage screening project has received lots of attention. How close are you to turning this into reality? Um, I'm working together with the university uh, in Aachen and also some in, um, yeah, partners from the industry and we are going to make a research team. Um, yeah, and with this research team we wanted to try to get some um, research funds um, to make a little prototype to check if it's really going to work. Okay, and speaking of funding, then what has been the reaction from the scientific community? Are, are you successful in getting funding? Um, not yet. Because we, we, are, we are just in, in looking for, for mm -hmm. the funds. Um, but all the people I was talking to, they were all very positive and all like, it's going to work. All right. Well, what about a pilot study? Have you conducted any pilot studies to see if it's actually feasible to collect the plastic near the surface of the water? Um, yeah, it is. I was talking to a lot of people who work with water and, yeah, we're really working in this in these type. And um, they are all saying it's going to work. And um, with nets, for example, it wouldn't work because you would put all the plankton mm -hmm, out of the water mm -hmm. and also all the fishes. And with my platform, yeah, they would still be alive and uh, that, yeah. All right, and in a practical sense, how many people would be on this giant platform? Um, in, in my plan, there are like around a crew of 40 people, but um, yeah, there's also the fitness team inside and a lot the of fitness stuff like team. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, and where would the plastic be treated? Um, at first, I want to make a plasma gasification mm -hmm. out of it. Um, so you get some, some hydrogen and oxygen and out of it, um, yeah, I want to make the energy for the, pla for the platform. So it's like, yeah, working itself. And in the end, you get some new algae um, plastics, um, yeah, which is good for the ocean and um, not, yeah. Not, not damaging. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Now, uh, let's talk about you for a second. You were an architectural student when you yeah. came up with this concept. You're, you've graduated <laughs> right. since you're an architect now. Yeah. But how did you get interested in the first place in tackling the, the, the problem with the garbage in the oceans? Yeah, I was looking for a project which I can do for my math thesis. And um, I read a newspaper uh, and an article about this problem. And I was thinking about, okay, why not trying to build architecture on the water? And uh, my professor said, gonna. Go, Go try. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Well, you know that this Pacific trash vortex was discovered in the late 90s. Why do you think it's taken so long to tackle it? Because um, it's a problem to get it out of the water. Because, as I said before, it's not possible to take some filters or some nets. And, um, yeah, right now there is no solution to get it really out of the water um, without damaging the ocean life. Is that the problem with other projects that you've uh, witnessed? I think so, because, um, yeah, if you take all the plankton outside, um, yeah, it's not going to work. It's not going to save our oceans. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, good luck to you and your project. Thank you. All right. Marcella Hunch, thank you for being with us on Tomorrow Today.